What's going on, yo? It's the host with the most boy boy, and we're coming at you at another red carpet from HBO Latino, a, a documentary produced by Timothy Greenfield. It's gonna be real crazy, a lot of celebrity, a lot of chatter, and we're gonna bring it to you up close, personal, from the red carpet, and you're gonna be joining me today. So let's go take a walk. What's going on, everybody? It's the host with the most boy boy. We out here in New York City, and the celebrities are out. We're gonna bring all the gossip, all the talk, all the chatter from the red carpet straight to your home. Timothy, real quick. Quick two words, another premiere, we're here in New York City, another red carpet, how does it feel? I'm so tired of these ah, red carpets <laughs> all the time, every month I have another Hold film. On. Oh my. Uh, I'm very excited about this, volume two, we screened it in LA a couple days ago, amazing response. Uh, some people said it was better than volume one, don't let, don't let Marta Moreno <laughs> hear you say that, okay? But uh, very excited, this is a very important place, Museo del Barrio, it's been a home for us so well let's watch the film see what you think we're going right inside and we're gonna watch the film with Timothy all right okay. thank you very thank much you. Well, let's go back let's go back get my spot on the red carpet quick question yes, so uh, what does the culture mean to you and you being involved with this whole uh, being here and giving your presence what does that mean um, you know right now Latinos are getting a mixed message in the United States on the one hand, we are celebrated and told that we're you know, the largest quote-unquote minority group. And on the other hand, we are uh, told that we should leave the country, we should, you know, we're going to be deported, we're going to be thrown out. So I think people don't understand what is, what is, what is happening to, uh, for Latinos in the United States. So anything that gives Latinos voice, that, um, that makes their presence felt, that brings us into the mainstream, into mainstream media, has to be celebrated. It's it's really, and for me, it's a huge honor to be a part of the Latino List One and the Latino List Two. And how important, you being Latino, how important to all the Latinos out there is it? We're having elections coming up. How important is it to vote? You know, this is it. If if you have whatever questions you may have about how you feel towards the candidates. This is what democracy looks like. Democracy is messy. Sometimes you don't feel excited about it, mm -hmm. but it's uh, it's our only responsibility. People have given their lives. Eh, los esclavos, the slaves, gave their lives to try to be free and to try to become part of a democracy. Our role here is really to to say we have to own our voice. That's that's what this is about. The basics of democracy is owning your voice. If you have citizenship you have to go to the polls and if you don't have citizenship you can still be part of the democracy you have to own your voice it doesn't matter but if you have that paper that says you're a citizen you must vote don't go unheard do not go unheard you have to vote you have to vote no matter what you've got to vote mm. look I'm up and Latino down list. head to toe head to toe look up and down Yamamoto. now well how does it sound the first latino female President. I wish I wasn't born here, so it would be kind of impossible. Hey. But I could be Secretary of State. Hey, how does that sound? So you, you I really like that. You sound like you're, you're here on a movement for the Latino community. I am on a movement. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a fast, fast growing community. That's right. And it seems like you are one person that's ready to take charge I am. and help it grow even more. I am. So what are you doing exactly? Well, I just started this thing called the Adelante Movement. Dot com and it's for Latinas because Latinas in the US are the number one economic emerging market in the world. Are you hearing that ladies? There are companies that want to give us government contracts, that want to give us franchises, that want to give us startup money and they're going to give it to the Latinas who are going to bring it into the family. And so I know that a lot of Latinas don't know this. They don't. So I decided to do a tour through the United States which begins in Phoenix October 10th. I'm going in one year through the whole country oh, wow. and I'm going to bring all the jobs, all the contracts, all the startup money to Latinos so there's no excuses. We should bring wealth into our families. Of course. So what what, inspired, what was that push that said, you know what, enough is enough, I'm going to do this? What was well, it? Well, I'll tell you what it is. Number one, you have to practice what you preach, right? I 
I've gotten to the point where I've made enough money, where I did the, the work I'm talking about, I did it myself. I brought money into my family. I've had three successful businesses. Then I took a sabbatical and went back to school and got a master's and doctorate in clinical psychology, which I just finished. Oh. And, thank you, thank you. And in that process, I'm on the advisory board for Coca-Cola. There we go. And in the boardroom, I hear Latinas are the number one economic emerging market in the world. The world is their oyster, and they're not taking advantage of these opportunities. I go, that's it. Get I'm the not facts. That. Get the I'm going to go bring it to them on a silver platter and go, here it is. Now take it. Yes. So, Secretary of State. <laughs> From your mouth to God's ears. Hey, hey, it's, it's all possible. So you seem like you have this movement. Now, tell me what this culture means to you. Well, to be Latina is everything to me. It's like if you took that away, you take out, why don't you just take my arms or my legs? It is my soul and it is my values. And that's what we bring to this country. We still have good values. We do, we do. And this country has kind of lost its way a little bit. So it's our job to bring those values back. Is it safe to say, you have Obama, and then you got the other guy. Ah, Mitt Romney. Mitt ah. Romney. Ah. So, who, who's who's the valley? Who who are you voting for? Is it? Can you say it? Well, I tend to be an independent, so I'm not going to say. <laughs> but you can you can put two and two together. Let's just say that I believe in the the government looking like us. How's that? That sounds beautiful. <laughs> Boy boy, I love boy, it. Boy boy. <laughs> I'm hanging out with the host with the most. Boy boy. Ooh. <laughs> love it. Thank you love very it, much. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> uh, with, uh, I am a website called Boy Boy TV from the Warner Brother Group. They uh, are participating here with them. So, how important is it to bring your presence over here? Well, I think it's an honor to be here. So I, it's not a presence for me, it's I am honored to be among the people that are going to be uh, on this film tonight. And I'm very humbled uh, by the fact that I was allowed to be on the, on the same list. Are you supporting anyone in particular? No, I'm supporting the whole idea. I think it's such a great idea to have these people recognized and, and to talk in their authentic voice, to listen to them in a very uh, disarming way talk about who they are, their backgrounds, how did they overcome the obstacles to reach success in this country, that I think it's a huge inspiration uh, for the whole Latino community, no matter where you're from. And I would be very surprised if you were to look at this film and not somehow uh, bring a tear to your eye, because I tell you, I think all the guys who were in this film, uh, when they talked about their mom uh, or their wife, uh, had a tear in their eye because of how tough it was to reach success. So, did it, did it just hit that soft spot there? Well, absolutely. I think you'll see everyone do that. And do you think it really helps enrich the whole Latino culture in itself? I think that's what the culture is all about. We work hard. Uh, we work very hard. We also have a good heart. And we're very family-oriented. So, I think you'll see that all come through uh, in the film today. All right. But not only on the red carpet, with Boy Boy, mm -hmm. the host with the most. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff.